Hello, potato. These little guys look familiar to you. They probably should if you've been watching videos on this channel. Because months ago, back in the fall, I think, before, before Halloween, come on, focus. You know you can do it. I opened all these little guys up for you here on this channel. They're from the LEGO Minifigure Series uh, 19. And um, they're not the whole set. So today, we're going to try and finish that set. I popped over to my local Lego store and bought what should be the rest of the Series 19, series 19 minifigures, but not just those. I got a few of the new DC minifigures. Although I don't think I got any of the good ones. Um, those ones might legitimately have some duplicates in them because I didn't have the little booklet. You know, this is, these all come with, with a little booklet. And the cool thing on the little booklet is that you can see what the parts are that come with each one and you can feel for those pieces. This is actually the little booklet that I used for finding the rest of these guys. So let's see if I did a good job of finding them all. And I didn't get out my box cutter. That's sloppy, isn't it? Here we go. There it is. The good old box cutter. All right, let's start cracking these guys open. Let's see if we finished off the set. Hopefully we did, because uh, these have been out for a minute. And you don't want to wait too long on these sometimes, because they, they disappear. There's actually a set from a couple of years ago, series 16 or 17, that I never did finish. Because it just it wasn't as uh, widely available, I think. Also, was out at Christmas time, and I just didn't have time and money to really hunt them down. So we got first of all, we got the firefighter, which is one of the ones I needed. Does she have two faces? She does have two faces. She has angry, yelly face. Can you focus on her, please? Hello. Yeah, how about that? Can you focus on that? I don't think you can. Well, we have angry yellow face and we have just kind of bored meh face. So let's, let's give her angry yelly face. And she's got her hair. That's how you know she's a she. And she's got her little megaphone so she can yell. Get back in line, people. Let's put you over here. Who else we got? Who else we got? Oh, all over the place. Looks like we have, uh, I think I was calling this one Pride Bear. I don't, I'm sure that's not what Lego was calling it, but it's got a little, a little rainbow on it. And it's either that or it's a knockoff Care Bear. We've got two faces as well, which is, I mean, are they going to be visible through the mask? No, they're not. So why bother? We've got like an oh face, like of surprise or understanding or just, I guess, joy. Deal with it. And then we've got just kind of a, wow, I'm wearing this in public face. Not, not because of the rainbows, but because of the mask. So see, it doesn't matter what face I use, because that's all you see is the eyes. I can position it to give the eyes kind of a little, little give them, make them give a little side eye out. That's kind of cool. And then we've got a heart and a rainbow. Can you... There we go. Rainbow and a heart. And I guess I probably should have done it the other way around so it matches the symbol on their chest. But oh well. There we go. And I'll just put the spare heart on the floor. There we go. Put your heart on the floor. And put you over there with the firefighter. Those are my rubber ones. Okay. Next up. The one I'm really kind of looking forward to is that Monkey King looking one, because that looks like a neat one. I don't know what I'd use it for, but it could go on a display. See, these things, these little poly bags inside the foil bags, they're always kind of a little of a throw off. They make it a little bit harder to tell what's in there. But I got the bathtub guy. Because usually these things, these little papery bits, go inside of 
the little poly bags and stuff. Here we on focus. See, the thing is, not only can I not really see the screen very well on this in general, for focusing, I can't see it at all right now, because I'm kind of standing off to the side of it. This table is not deep enough for me to stand right behind the camera, because the camera has to be a fair distance away from the table in order to get it all in. I need to get a, uh, well, I need to get probably a better camera. I think I've discussed that before. Something that focuses on its own. Ah! There's a face. Got, I don't know what that expression is, but it's kind of creepy. And then we have the embarrassed face, I guess, because he's been caught in the bathroom in his towel. Let's give him embarrassed face. And we'll cover up that little Voldemort back of the head face with the shower cap. I need to get a get a camera that could autofocus without me having to reach back here and press the shutter. But you know, this is a nice camera, and I, I just I don't I don't like not using it. I mean, the video on it I think is decent. It's decent for YouTube. It's uh, just the focus is an issue. All right, bath time guy. Three left in the set. And then we'll pick my favorites. And the ones who aren't my favorite, we will point at and laugh. What we got next? We got, it's like the little Space Knight guy. Because you gotta have one of these kind of things in each, each one. I should go through all of my Lego minifigure collections and like look for like the, the medieval looking ones and the space looking ones. Ooh, I kind of like that as a face. I don't know if that's meant to be a face. Can you see that? It's like kind of like a VHS cassette stuck to the back of his head. Can you make that the face? Will that look right? You know, oh, I didn't put the shoulder pads on. Getting ahead of myself. Oh, it doesn't matter anyways, because the mask isn't see-through. You can't see any face. It doesn't matter which face you use, because it doesn't flip up or anything. It's just a solid bit of plastic. So it doesn't matter. Let's give you your blaster, because I'm sure we're not allowed to call them guns. And give you... this. What is this? This? Oh, it's a wanted poster! I, there's no way in the world this is going to focus in on that, is there? Wanted. 300 million something. It's like a little space symbol reward. He's wanted built or broken. I don't, I don't think you can read that. Built or broken. I guess that's the Lego equivalent of dead or alive. Give you your little wanted poster. Which you can't look at unless I have it be upside down. But I guess you can hold it out to show it to everyone else. You know, Show, have you seen this man? Who is that man? It's just a generic figure. It'd be funny if it was Emmett or something from the Lego movie, but it's not. It's just a generic figure. Next up, we got Flamingo Lady. I sometimes wonder, I guess she's not Flamingo, it's not. she's gardening. She's clearly gardening. She's got a couple little weeds she's pulled up. She's got gardening gloves on. She's clearly gardening. Flamingo is just the bit that makes her easier to find in the bag when you're searching for it. Um, no extra face, though. No second face, despite the fact her hair does hide the back of her head. She does not have a second face. See, I know that's not in focus. Maybe like this. That's weird, because she's right in the little little focus square on the screen here. But it doesn't want to focus on her. All right, let's give her a big old beehive hairdo. And ooh, he's rubbery. It's a rubbery flexi. I guess you can't make anything hard anymore because people give them to children despite age warnings, and the children try to stick them up their nose. 
All right, so last one. So hopefully this is the Monkey King, or I have woefully misjudged uh, what I got. And it is, it's the Monkey King. He's arrived at last. What's the name of the Monkey King? I might look it up and put it here as a text. I might not. Only you know, because you're in the future and I'm in the past. And you have a lot of bits to you. I need the, I need the instructions for you. You, I cannot figure it out on my own. All right, what do we got? We got to do feet. We got the tail. We've got the torso. Then we have the scarfy cape thing. Some shoulder pads. A head. And you've only got, you've got two faces too. You've got, looks kind of like an Urukai like this, doesn't he? We've got kind of, uh, I guess, snarly face and then wicked smile face. Let's, let's make him look mean. I know I didn't bother trying to focus that. I'll focus it when I appear. Oh, his scarf's all messed up now. It's all ruined. It's ruined everything. All right. Come on. So we have our little mean face and then our I'm going to rip your nose off face. I'm going to go with the mean face just because it looks more uh, dignified. He looks more dignified that way. Focus again. And then we have his head or his hair. And a little bit of flare on the head. And then we put together his staff using a couple of bits of lightsaber. Nope, that was right the first time. He's got a reverse lightsaber. It's dual handled instead of dual bladed. All right. And that's it. That should be all of them. That's the whole set. Um, yeah, that's everybody. We have some extra pieces here. Just put those off. So let's take a look at what we got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 figures. I could probably just look at the little booklet and done the math on that quicker. So who do I like the best? Well, Monkey King. I like the Monkey King. He is my favorite. He is the best one of Series 19. I like him best. Uh, second place, I'm going to go with the little pizza guy, because I can use him in my carnival display that I'll be setting up in a couple of months, because I have a pizza truck, and he will stand outside the pizza truck and go, buy pizza. Um, do we have a third place? I like her. I don't know if she's necessarily third place. I like that she has the little computer. I like that she has a little droid that she's built. Um... I think the gamer guy is a little, uh, little stereotypical, but he's, he, I guess he's fun if you have a, if you set up a convention kind of a thing. Uh, the fox, and the bear is cute. I like the bears for being cute, but I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not top three. Do I have a bottom three? Who are my bottom three? Who am I, who do I not like? I don't like the mummy. I mean, she's fine in the, my Halloween display. Uh, she actually did go on the Halloween display last year. I saved her back out because I knew I would eventually do this video and need her. Same with him. He went in the Halloween display as well. He went, I think, went in the Scooby-Doo castle. All right, but two more. Two more I don't care for. Rugby guy is not super impressive, but I like him because he's rugby guy. And you just don't get rugby stuff. I'm going to say I don't like the mountain biker uh, because... It doesn't stand up. Well, of course, now it's standing up. But yeah, it doesn't stand up. I don't have any particular use for this person. It doesn't really fit in any of my... I mean, if it stood up, I could put it in the city, I suppose. Because I do have bicyclists in the city display. And third. Who do I like least third? I'm going to go with uh, our fake Indiana Jones here, because he's fake Indiana Jones. He's my, Those are my bottom three. These guys are all okay in the middle. Um, I mean, they all have strengths and weaknesses. 
not super imaginative, but I do like the extra detail over my other firefighters that I do have. She will probably end up going with the other firefighters in the Christmas display. Um, he's, well, she, or this one, is not super imaginative. But, I mean, it's cute. The dog walker is cute because it comes with poo. I mean, how often do you get Lego poo? But, yeah, those, uh, everybody else is just competent. I don't really have a use for this one. I don't really have a use for this one. Bathtub guy might go inside of one of the buildings in the city. I think there is a bathroom in one of them, but uh, you won't be able to see him from the outside. I do have a duplicate of one of the sleeping ones from an older series, sleeping on one of the beds in uh, the Lego City. But yeah, that's it. That's Series 19. They're cute. They're fun. And again, you know, when I was a kid, I really would have liked these because... Uh, you didn't have enough minifigures when you were a kid. You always saw in the catalog those boxes of minifigures, but there was no Lego store. Toys R Us and KB didn't sell them. But I always wanted more figures. I didn't have enough figures. Number of figures was always a deciding factor when you bought a set. When you were getting to buy a set. Is how many figures did it come with? And did they fit into the city? Because, I mean, you don't want knights and space people wandering around in your, at your gas station. All right, so let me clear these guys off, and then we will start on the DC. All right, so those are out of the way. Let's start with DC. I think this is the first time they've done just a DC one. They did a one or two Lego Batman ones, I think. There's at least one. I think there might have been two Lego Batman movie ones. Now, I'm going to ask you to forgive me, and this will hurt my geek credit here a little bit, but I'm not going to know the names of all these characters. I kind of... I'm kind of more of a Marvel person overall. I do like DC ones, though. I like to watch all those CW shows. I was disappointed that they brought in the Elongated Man instead of Plastic Man. Although I do like the Elongated Man. So we have, uh, what, another 16 figures to choose from again. We've got, you know, one Jin No, like Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, and I think that's, is that Stargirl, is that her name? Green Lantern, Superman. I want to see Chitara, but I know that's a Thundercat. Um, I don't remember your name. You're, I know you're a Lantern character, like a Black Lantern or something. Cyborg, Batman, the Huntress, Metamorpho, I think. Uh, Batmite, Flash. Uh, at least in the TV version, it's Jay Garrick Flash. I know you're on Teen Titans, but I don't know your name. Obviously, you're, I mean, I guess you could be Wasp, but I'm, but I'm thinking you're a honeybee. And of course, Wasp is a Marvel character. And then we have the Joker with a giant pink beehive. It's probably going to do a Harley Quinn since uh, that new movie's coming out. All right, so let's put together the Cheetah Girl here. That's who our first one is. Does she have two faces? Yes, she does. She has. She's got this kind of smirky, smuggy, mean face, and then like angry, I'm going to claw your eyes out face. Let's give her angry, I'm going to claw your eyes out face and see how... Oh, I forgot her tail. It's important to remember the, the little pieces here. What's a cat without its tail? I guess it's a bobcat. What else do we have? Oh, and these ones all have, and this actually made it really hard to, like, find them in the packages, is they all have these little, little clear pieces to make them go into action poses, which I'm sure is going to look really cool. But it, when you're trying to find a particular, when you're looking for, like, a certain piece in a bag, they get in the way. They make it that much more difficult. But there, see, she's like in, in mid-leap. Mm. Mm. Comes with a spare one of those pieces. Well, that worked well. All right. There's Cheetah Girl. I should look up their names, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Who do we got number two? Number two, who's number two? I don't think I did a good job of finding many of the really cool ones. I don't think I got Batman or Superman. 
for Wonder Woman. I think I might have, yep, I do have. Let's talk about it. I do have Aquaman. I got Aquaman. And it is lost his hand Aquaman because he's got the little the little spear on his hand there. Which is kind of neat. Let's make him swim. Make him look like he is swimming. Give him his beautiful golden long mullet. Just like in the old GameCube game when we have an angry face and a smiley face. Let's make him mad. Everybody should be mad. We're all just falling apart. He should be angry. He's angry and will club you with a fish. It's not to treat your friends picking up and like threatening people with them. I talk to the fish and will beat you with one. I have a lot of these little uh, clear pieces. Maybe I can find someone to use them in the normal display. You're going to fall on your face, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. So, I'm going to say I'm not, not in love with these uh, little action pieces. Because what if I turn them sideways? Will that work? If I make the... There we go. That's how you do it. You turn 90 degrees and then the base is wider or longer in the front and he doesn't fall on his face. Who else we got? We got... We should put the names on here, did they? No, there's no names on here. We got the one I think is called Stargirl. I think she's getting her own WB series or something, isn't she? I want to say I saw that she was getting a series. She looks like female Captain America, doesn't she? Star on the chest. This is a, of course, exposed midriff because she's a female character and therefore has to have an exposed midriff because it's either that or a boob window. You have to have one or the other for some reason. It empowers you, I suppose. Empowers you and your perfectly coiffed blonde hair. And I guess she's supposed to hold that on the other hand. Okay. Looks like she has like a praying mantis arm on the end of a stick. I'm guessing that's some sort of cosmic star power. I don't know. But let's get her mounted up. I wish they go back to the white bases again. I like the white bases. That was, I think the Dis was it Disney? I think it was Disney had the white bases. The last Disney series. I like those white bases because they were useful in uh, Christmas. However, they have released, at the beginning of the year, they released uh, white base plates. So I'm gonna get me some of those to put on the ground for the Halloween display for next year. So then I can make figures just kind of stand up and not have to all be like hanging off of things or leaning against things and that'll be nice. Who we got next? We got the Metamorpho, looks like. I don't think you need an action base. You can just stand. You don't need to hover. I put you on backwards, though. And he only has the one face because he doesn't have a mask of some sort. But he does have this weird little claw thing to give him a giant hand. That kind of probably would have been useful for like a smaller clay face figure, wouldn't it have? He's made up of different elements. He's got... Come on. All right. That's... See, to me that looks horrible. I don't know how it looks to you. I'm looking at a tiny little screen, but he's got a little ice leg and a little, little like mud leg and a purple side and an orange side. And I don't know what those are supposed to be. I'm guessing... Looks like beef and scales. And then his head is, looks like he's got a skin condition. Put you back there. All right, we're halfway through those guys, at least the ones I have so far. And then I'll check them off at some time in the future. And we'll come back in another video with hopefully the rest of them. Oh, I got a duplicate. I failed. I wonder what it was that tricked me. 
that's that's the risk of not having this. I mean, this isn't super helpful, anyways. It'll do though. Yeah, I got another another metamorpho. Well, shucks. He'll have to go and just into the Lego display immediately. We have a clone. I have gone a number of series without getting a duplicate. This is the first time in a while that my uh, my method has failed me. That's disappointing. Right, we got bag in a bag because we got this guy. Looks kind of like Vision, but obviously it isn't because this isn't Marvel. I mean, it's not, it's not Brainiac, because it doesn't have, like, Brainiac's little symbol on him. I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you have handcuffs. But you seem kind of happy about it. Oops, let's put your, put your cape on. Uh, there we go. Cape. And, yeah, I don't know... Why do you have cuffs? Why are you in handcuffs? Who are you? I will have to look this one up. At some point. I don't know who he is. I don't know why he's in chains. I don't know why he seems happy about it. I would expect if you were... Handcuffed with presumably some sort of super-powered handcuffs, because I'm guessing you have superpowers. You uh, wouldn't be happy, but but there you have it. He is happy. You don't have to be happy. He doesn't have to be happy, but he is. And I don't know why. Who can speak to the minds of Lego men? And uh, trying to get that chain on there. I guess. I guess I could attach it to his foot and have him. Yeah, I don't know. Let's we'll just wrap it around you. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're in chains. Maybe he is the ghost of Jacob Marley from the DC version of of uh, A Christmas Carol. And finally, who do we get? Finally, we got the B girl person. I don't know your name. I don't know what, half of your names. I'm not hundred percent sure that Metamorpho's right. Only I'm really, really sure of is Aquaman. I have to look up and see who the rest of these characters are before I go out and buy the rest of them. All right, we got two faces again. We've got Gur Gur Angry Face, and we've got. Kind of confident, smirky face. Let's go with Gurger Angry. Pop your head on you. And I guess, given that you have wings, you should be positioned in flight. Because that would just make sense, right? I mean, it's clearly a flying character. As opposed to Aquaman, who clearly isn't a flying character. He flies through the seas. She's kind of flying backwards, firing as she goes with her little electric bee sting power. All right, so that's, uh, we got six of them. Bought seven packs, got six figures. That's what leaves us with uh, ten more to get. And get them we shall at least endeavor to. And that will finish up our video for this week. Um, you know, just a, a little quieter week, you know, not, we're still blind bagging it, but no, no loot crates, no, no eating things. It's, I guess it's still all loot blind box stuff though, isn't it? I'm doing a lot of that. But, you know, it's, it's an excuse to buy those things, I would have bought these anyways, it's not like I need an excuse for these. But that, that does it for this week, I think we've gone long enough today, don't you? So don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me at Void of Minashi on... Not Void Minashi, gee. Follow me at Void of Intelligence on Instagram. And then I will see you in the next video, which, who knows, maybe there'll be more Lego, maybe there'll be more of these. I don't know yet. I know what I have to record, but 
I don't know what order I'll put them in or if I might get something else in the meantime. And I'm still talking. Why? Bye!